So just for fun, I thought I would uh, model the Michigan block M from a bitmap. So I'll go through that process again. So we'll go to our background bitmap and place, select the M, paste it in. Uh, and uh, like I do this with other, other bitmaps, I'll look for things like symmetries and uh, alignments and repeated forms. And so the block M is clearly symmetrical about its center. And then there's also some alignments uh, with these, uh, with the geometry. So I wanna take those into account when I make this. So I only have to make half of this. I only have to draw half of it. Uh, and then I could mirror it about its uh, middle to get the other half. So I only need to do half the modeling. I want to move this bitmap so I'm aligning it with the grid at least uh, down the middle. So I'll click as close as I can get to that middle point. Again, bitmaps aren't super, super precise because of the pixelization, but that'll be fine for this sort of work. So I'm going to draw a line for my middle. And um, the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to draw all my lines long rather than, than try to trace the thing uh, because I can extend you know the lines long and I can come back and trim everything. Um, so that's the process I'm going to use. So for, let's say, these you know, side lines, and I'm not going to be, I'm going to turn my grid snap off. I'm not going to be super precise about it. I'm just going to try to make my way down the middle of these lines. I can hold my shift key down so I make sure I get a vertical line. Uh, hold the shift key down, get a horizontal line for that. Um, this line is extended across to here, so I'll just bring that all the way through do our bottom and I'm just uh, right clicking again after I'm done with the polyline tool after I've ended it I just right click again and it selects the last tool makes it very quick and easy that I could even snap use my perpendicular that's gonna work fine there That will extend through, and I got one more vertical here. Okay, and then I have these two angled lines, uh, and I do want to go run them long, and I don't have to be perfect uh, with my angle because as soon as I end it, I could see that this is off a little bit. So all I have to do is grab that endpoint, drag it over and I can get my alignment. And this angle and this bottom angle are the same. So I could do that bottom angle by just duplicating that line. And I think that's everything. So I'm going to turn off my background bitmap or hide it. Select all my lines. Type in TR get, to get trim. And just go and trim everything by clicking on it. I don't want to trim my mirror line. I'm going to leave that for last. I will delete it. You can use your box to trim a whole bunch of lines at once. Okay. Hit enter, um, and then I'm going to select all those uh, but my mirror line, and then I'm going to join them all together. And then uh, type in MI for mirror. Give that middle line as my mirror plane. I don't need that anymore, so I can delete it. Select all my geometry, join it all together because I want to make a solid M. Let's rotate into axon. 
and then go to another layer to produce my extruded M. And there's my block M. And so since we're uh, making tile walls, I could just use that as my my object, right? My my tile. We could mirror that and duplicate it. So that M could become a pattern. 